Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you seven signs you have hurt a narcissist. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Seven signs you have hurt a narcissist. You may be wondering if you have unintentionally bruised a narcissist's ego as a result of the things you may have said or done. You may be wondering if it has made an impact on their life. And if you're thinking about it, it probably has. But you will never know about it because the narcissist will never reveal to you that your behavior has affected them. They do not want to be vulnerable, so you will never see a vulnerable side of them. But there are signs to look for, which will reveal if you have hurt the narcissist. One, extreme reaction. If you have hurt the narcissist, you will see a surprising and unreasonable reaction, which usually will not be deserving of its importance or influence. But narcissists are known for their over-the-top responses, which may be considered outrageous, unbelievable or ridiculous because they constantly feel threatened. They feel like their false self has an uncertain chance of continued survival, so they see you as a threat to their character and to the illusion they are creating. Which is why even a small disagreement or criticism may trigger an exaggerated reaction. Because when you're communicating with a narcissist, it's like you're navigating a minefield. There are very little things you can talk about without it being something they're very sensitive about. So anything could potentially set a narcissist off because they can't contain their emotions. They can't comfort themselves when they're unhappy or distressed. They lack discipline and self-control. Which is why if you accidentally trigger a narcissist, you will see a sudden and striking reaction and it will let you know that you have caused damage to them. So you need to watch carefully for when minor disagreements develop into something chaotic and dramatic because it will reveal to you that you have wounded their fragile ego. 2. Silent treatment. The narcissist will use the silent treatment as a form of punishment when they feel insulted. When they feel that you have said or done something that shows you think they're not important. So when they suddenly become unresponsive and distant, it's because they are distressed and annoyed, which means that they will avoid communication. They will ignore you, which may seem very childish, but it's because they have an arrested emotional development. So when the narcissist is silent, it's because they're experiencing anger, annoyance, irritation, discomfort and unhappiness. And that is their way of expressing it to you without having to facilitate it with words. Because again, they do have an arrested emotional development. So they have difficulty expressing their thoughts and emotions and resolving conflict. But if they remove any form of communication, that is how you know that you have got under their skin. Three, blame shifting. If you have hurt the narcissist, they will suddenly start projecting onto you and they will blame you for everything that went wrong because you have exposed their lies and deceptions and they can't handle it. So they will project it all onto you and they will blame you. But when they start projecting their shortcomings onto you, it should reveal to you that you have hit a nerve to where they are now forced to protect their fragile self-image. Four, they will accuse you of being selfish. They will say that you are unsupportive and that you only care about yourself because they know what's important to you and they will use it to trigger you. 
because they want to make you feel guilty. So they may start to criticize you and devalue you because they're losing control of their emotions. They will use guilt, shame and charm to influence your actions and decisions. They will play the victim to garner sympathy and use your own weaknesses against you. Because by destabilizing you, they gain a sense of power while deflecting attention away from their vulnerabilities. So they chip away at your self-esteem to leave you feeling isolated and powerless. Five, gaslighting. They will try to make you question your own memory, perception and sanity. They will try to confuse you. They will blatantly lie and deny what they did to make you doubt your experiences because they want to blame you for your actions to shift the focus and responsibility away from themselves. Six, discard. Narcissists think in black and white. So you're either with them or against them. And once they've got it in their minds that you're against them, you then become public enemy number one. They will discard you without any explanation because they're in desperation mode trying to take you down. But then they will move on to new supply because that's what they have to do in order to survive. Seven, smear campaign. Sometimes a narcissist will make a deliberate and organized effort to ruin your character and reputation. They will spread lies and rumors about you to your friends, family, or anyone who will listen because they want to divert attention away from their own faults and failures. They may also want to isolate you socially and emotionally. They will play the victim to garner sympathy and support from other people, which can be very hurtful and confusing to see people you once trusted turn against you based on falsehoods. But the narcissist's false narrative can be so convincing that you may even start to question your own reality and motives. The narcissist will never tell you that you have hurt them, but they will show you with their behaviors how you have made them feel. And their behaviors will be designed to protect themselves because they will see everything as an attack onto them. So everything they do or say will revolve around projecting and deflecting onto you but they will never be able to explain themselves. They will never be able to talk about what is happening. You will only get circular conversations and word salad. Once you have hurt a narcissist, there will never be a continuous, smooth and free flowing conversation with them, which is how you will know that they are projecting because they're trying to put their false perception of you onto you, which is why they will act out these behaviors because they feel threatened. They feel like they're being exposed and discredited because you're unintentionally revealing their faults and they do not want it to come to light. They want it to remain hidden. But now their bad behavior is being exposed. So they want to hide all of it because they don't want people to know what they are like, which is why you can't even have a normal conversation with them. You can't express things in an open and honest way because they're just going to deflect it all onto you. So there is no development for them in this and they don't even want to grow. They prefer to put all of the blame onto you because that makes them feel good by making you feel small. It gives them a sense of elevation. If they can make you feel small, it makes them feel powerful, which is why they put you down and they make you feel bad about yourself because they do not want to grow. They do not want to be held accountable for their actions, so they shift the blame onto you to make you take responsibility, which should reveal to you that you have bruised their fragile ego. And it's very easy for a person to do that to a narcissist because many of them manage to get away with the things they do. So now they live their lives in fear and paranoia. They are terrified of being exposed, which means that they always feel threatened by anyone who knows the truth about them. 
because they don't want anyone to see the real them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.